Now when you go to buy a foreign currency, such as listed there, there are two sets of figures, the buy figure and then the sell figure. So in the first instance, they, the vendor requires 92 American cents to get you an Australian dollar. However, if they sold American currency to you, one Australian dollar buys 85.6 or 0.856 of a US dollar. In a similar way, 0.552 pounds. Uh, 6.621 Hong Kong dollars, 0.638 euros, uh, 1.096 New Zealand dollars, and 83.14 yen. So always there's a margin, so they can make a little bit of money. For people that deal with big transactions of figures, or for commercial transactions, they'll use what's called the middle rate, the mean, the halfway point, between the buy and sell figure. But as a tourist or potential tourist, if I want to buy US dollars, then what I'm going to do, I need to make use of the sell column. So in the first instance, 50 Australian dollars times 0.856 gives me 42.80 US dollars. In B, 850 Australian to Hong Kong dollars. So 850 times the sell figure, which is uh, going to be 6.621. And for C, uh, 720 Australian into yen. So 83.14 carrying out that multiplication. Symbol for yen, if you're interested, is a Y with two strokes across. Take some time to work the rest of these questions from number 40.